time, Mr. Chairman. Yep. Uh, we got a note today from the town administrator that Habermock Street construction of the sidewalks will begin. Uh, perhaps uh, I could mention it a little more. Yeah, they were uh, out there surveying the last couple of days, uh, setting aside the, the width of the uh, what the street's going to look like, um, and construction will start tomorrow. And construction means uh, shovels in the ground. That's right. So mm -hmm. Sabrina will have to walk to work from I'm now on. Right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so that that project, and uh, obviously uh, out on uh, Route 14 west of the center of town towards the Hanson Line, you know, will continue. To, I believe there were three different details out that way uh, today, and uh, you know they're finishing the sidewalk on the south side of uh, Route 14. Um, There'll be some curbing on the north side of Route 14 uh, with some asphalt uh, berms being uh, constructed. Um, but right now they're widening the road and putting the asphalt you know, on the area of the road where we didn't have asphalt before. So uh, you know, they're on target to be finished by that section of Route 14 by, the, uh, um, by August. Latest and then they'll work on the eastern side of Route 14 uh, from the center of town towards uh, Route 53. And the, while we're talking about uh, traffic projects, um, I'm waiting to hear from the Historic Commission about an appearance before them as required by Mass DOT for the Route 53 Pleasant Street traffic signal as well. So, uh, the other thing I wanted to mention to you, I called you the other day about. Um, um, me being contacted by the owner of uh, the Lucky Dog restaurant, and he was right. making complaints, and uh, I never heard from anybody from uh, the state in regards to... Uh, yeah, um, Mr. Russell Davis, who's the chief engineer on the project, uh, as I told you, Bill, last week, uh, was injured, and we were hoping that he would be back to work today, so I'll check with the assistant DPW director as to whether or not Mr. Uh, Davis can contact you about the the project there at the in front of the uh, in front of that restaurant. Okay, and the only other thing that I wanted to um, to bring up was that I received a lot of calls over the weekend um, during the Fourth of July and all that um, about the uh, speeding and motor vehicle violations on the ponds, and um, I spoke to the police chief uh, to some extent today about it, and um, he's going to beef up. Uh, patrols with the police boat and uh, officers. So if anybody has a problem with uh, any particular vessels or people committing violations that are hazardous to either their own health or everybody else's, then they should call and uh, the police department will put them through to an officer that handles that uh, directly. So the chief is going to assign uh, one officer to handle any complaint so everything is going to go through one guy. So. Instead of having a bunch of different officers involved in it, there's going to be one guy assigned. So. Oh, and I hope um, while we're talking about um, traffic, the uh, email that I sent to all members of the board today about the fact that I use my executive powers to uh, uh, fix the signal, uh, one of the traffic signals in the center of town. I don't know, if Bill, you got a chance to see that or not? Oh, I did. Okay. And so a lot of other people call me about it, and they said, whoever did it, thank them, because uh, that's, um, that's, and of that's been a bug of mine for uh, the last Absolutely. three or four years that, you know, and, that we and change those lights because it's crazy. People travel all the way from Boston, and they get home, and they get stuck in Pembroke Center, you know, and get through, so. Well, um, you know, like I, like I mentioned, I mean, we found out that it was by accident that that occurred, and that all, you know, and we left it. That once that blinking and ten, all of a sudden for some reason they went back to their regular mode of yellow, red, and green, yeah. and uh, and nobody knew, you who know, who did it, <laughs> and so we found out that mm. the uh, and Bell probably Traffic, who is our state. engineer, well, th they just think that they automatically went back to that mode, and so then, yeah. uh, you know, so last week, um, DPW director and the police chief and I. You know, uh, talked about that and wanted to bring back, you know, bring it back to the blinking mode. And so, uh, you know, finding out through town council that uh, 
it's a discretionary function of the town to do that. So, so like I right. said, I exercise my executive powers to. But you know what the problem? Blame, what, so. One of the problems was that that none of the traffic signal engineers would do anything unless they had permission from an engineering company. And that's why they wouldn't, because I call Halifax, because they do their own mm -hmm. down in Halifax. And uh, so it's, it's um, you know, it's something that is, I guess, through the selectmen's authority now that they can change that light. But um, the police chief does have a key, and he can put any of the lights on flash, right. any, you know, anytime he wants to. It's, but it's, uh, it's good to see them that way. The only thing that I suggested to Old Colony Planning Council quite a while ago, it was probably a year or so ago, and I had spoke to Dan about it, was that, that um, the, um, it should be red flashing coming north on Center Street, and it's, it's flashing yellow, but I can live with that as long as they all stay the same the way they are now. It's great. It's, uh, I can live with that. But, but that would stop any northbound traffic for people to get out of Elliott Avenue. Yeah. Because they'd have to stop and then they could go on a red flashing, but but I can live with a flashing yellow myself. But uh, so that's good. It's good to see that. 